It's the Wrestling Fortune Champion. Isn't this great, guys? Have you ever seen the Wrestling Fortune Champion in his greatness right now? I mean, I've got the Wrestling Fortune Championship, and no one's even challenged me for this because they're too scared to. No one's ever going to challenge me for this because, one, no one has the guts to challenge me for this. They're too weak. So you know what? If you guys want to challenge me for this championship, it's a 24-7 world. Just ambush me if you have to. I'll kick out. And when you pay me, but um, I'm here to really give you my WWF, which stands for World Wrestling Federation, and um, the Viva Federation. Better not sue me for saying that. No, see, yeah, I'm gonna do a WWF World Wrestling Federation. No way out. Two thousand. Wow. Two thousand. I have to go all the way to two thousand nine. How am I gonna do that until on Ju until June seventeenth? I'll figure out a way. But let's um, let's get down to it. First match of the night was Kurt Angle versus Chris Jericho for the IC Championship. The match was 10 minutes and 14 seconds. Now, um, in this match, Kurt Angle is walking in as the European Champion. Oh, if you guys don't know what the IC Championship stands for, it stands for Intercontinental, um, Intercontinental Championship. So, um. Pretty good wrestling match. It just was kind of like a wrestling match, but it, it didn't have a good ending. The referee kind of abstracted when um, I think yeah, Kurtang um Jericho I think accidentally um did something to yeah he I think he accidentally speared um China right into the um steel st 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 steel steps. Then um Jericho goes up to his, to do the lion so and then um. Angle has the European Championship. No, it's the Intercontinental Championship. It hits Jericho right off the head with the um, European Championship and um, pins him. No, it's the Intercontinental Championship. It hits him off the head with the Intercontinental Championship. So yeah, Kurt Angle becomes the new Intercontinental Champion. Now this was actually, a, like I said, a pretty great match. I, I think it could have the one spot in this match that I really enjoyed was when Angle went to throw Jericho into the steel steps and um, did the moonsault. But other than that, good wrestling match. It was a good wrestling match. Um, next match. We have the oh, yeah, the Dudleys are getting interviewed how um, they had, they're going to win back the tag team championships from the New Age Outlaws. And um, hopefully they, and that's pretty much it. That they And they just pretty much talk about other stuff. I don't really remember though. So then we have the New Age Outlaws versus the Dudley Boys for the WWF, which stands for World Wrestling Federation Tag Team Titles. And this match was 5 minutes and 20 seconds. Good tag team match. We had to, like, th this is back when they had, like, real tag teams. I like it. Uh, I like the um, New Age Outlaws team, so I'm going to go, Oh, you did it! No! That was pretty good. But. The thing is, they're never going to be the Western Fortune Champion. No one will ever pin me or make me submit, because I never submit, and maybe I'll get pinned. You never know. The only time I've lost this title is when my cousin broke my glasses. But, um, let's get back to the match. Let's get back to the pay-per-view. Um, um, Oh yeah, it was a so um pretty good yeah good tag team match. The good thing in this match was when um Billy King no it was Billy Gunn Bully Bully Way now, oh actually I don't know what his name was back then was it um was it Bubba Way back then one of the W I know I I'm just gonna call him Bully Way hit um Billy Kim with a lead pipe and then um um. The world, the world dog gets the 3D, and the Dudley's boys become the World Wrestling Federation Tag Team Champions. So the next match. Oh, yeah, see, then we have Kurt Angle celebrating backstage with his intercontinental, with his um intercontinental and European Championships. Congratulations. Then we have Mark Henry versus Viscera. Terrible match. Why do you we see big guys, big fat guys, always have bad matches together, except for Big Show versus Mark Henry and Vengeance. I'm not saying Big Show's bad, but I'm just saying that 500 pound guys. But um, the way this happens is Mark Henry does the World Strong Slam, and um, we had to see the replays because um, this one was so fat he cut out the camera angles, the cameras. So, um, congratulations. Bad match. What match? It was, uh, three, it was, 
Three minutes and 44 seconds. Nothing special. Congratulations, Montgomery. You won the match, but it, you went nowhere until this until last year. And then we have Chris Jericho interview saying how he felt about winning the Intercontinental losing the Intercontinental Championship. Uh, and people asked and said that there's no um, delusion between him and uh, China. So, next match. Oh, now we have Billy Gunn vaccines being attended to after what happened with the shoulder incident. Then we have the Hardy Boys versus Edge. Oh, I forgot to write. No, I did. Edge and Christian. Winners become the number one contenders for the World Wrestling Federation Tag Team Championships. Good tag team match. Very good tag team match. This was a good tag team match. This is back when they had tag teams. Looks a bit. Well, actually, they're kind of starting to get tag teams now, but this is like legit tag teams. Like the Usos even said that tag teams are like mean more. It's more than an division to them. But let's get that. But um, good match. I liked it when um they went to do poetry in motion and Edge goes off the second rope and does a spear. Um, but both men had the advantage in this match. Which was very good. Um, also, um, um, what's her name? I think her name was Tor Terry or something. No, it was Terry. I don't remember the girl, but this like girl like pushed Jeff Hardy off um, the top rope and uh, slapped Mal Hardy right in the face. And then Christian does the kill switch and wins the match. And then um, we have um, what's his face? Um, then we ha we are also doing this match. The AP are uh, um, uh, watching. Uh, protect um uh, kind of like the protection so the Dudleys don't get involved. But then um they go to try to pull Terry back in the ring to ask for answers and um the a APA a attacks them. So congratulations, good match, good tag team match. All right, so and the tag team match by the way was I don't know if I said how long it was, but I'm just gonna say 15 minutes and five seconds. So next match we have Big Boss Man versus. Taz. This match was nothing. Nothing at all. The only thing that was good about this match was the aftermath. This match was the um what ends up happening is um Taz is doing something and then he and then um Lord Tensai back then named Prince Albert um comes in and attacks um Taz and um they just do a beat down, Taz wouldn't stay down, they hit him with the leg pipe pipe a couple of times, we you know the little thing that the cops that was a night sticker, hit him with a night sticker. And um, then eventually Sergeant Slaughter had to come out and kinda like tell him to stop. So um, that match was pointless and it was only one mi one minute and twenty three seconds, right? Yeah, one minute and twenty three seconds. Then we have Cody and we go back seeing celebrating again. I wouldn't blame him, I'd be celebrating too. Um, and then we have oh, I messed up. Uh, hold on, I messed up. Okay, you have Ox Park, Ox Park, Ox X Park, X Pack, however you want to say it. Um, versus Kane in a no holds barred match. <laughs> Pretty decent match. Um, by the way, um, it was a good match. Kane kind of dominated the whole match, but um. There was some funny parts in this match when Paul Bear is beating up um, X Pac and then uh, Tori, which was Kane's ex girlfriend, now X Pac's girlfriend, um, punches Paul Bear in the face and then Paul Bear is going right after Tor Tori. And um, what else was a good part in this match? Well, um, it was a good, it was, but it was a good match though. Um, what ends up happening is, uh, oh, and Kane gave uh, Tori the tombstone. I like that. And then um, after that, um, I think Kane. Oh, um, Kane um, goes to um, hit um, X Pac with the steel steps, and, but he does the drop kick and um, pins him with the steps on because obviously he can't lift his shoulder up. But it was a good match. Good match. Um, good ending, too. Um, I, wasn't, I didn't even expect X Pac to win, not just because I like Kane, because it's kind of like a little thing. If you guys have seen X Pac before, you would understand. He's like not even the size of Kane. Um, let me also what's match was after that. Oh, Bakishi and True Cool versus the Radicals. What the Radicals consist of Perry Saturn, Dean Malenko, and Chris Benoit. Um, pretty decent match. Wasn't the best match ever. Um, 
it ends up it ends up be, being one with Rikishi doing um like the splash that Yokozuna used to do, and then he pins Steve Malenko. So a good dance, and then we have some dancing at the end, which um was okay, I guess. Oh, also um did I forget to mention that um oh wait that's after that, but um good match and. 13 minutes and 30 seconds, good match. Then we have Kurt Angle celebrating again, so yeah. Um, then we have Big Show versus The Rock, when it becomes the number one contender to the World Wrestling Federation Championship at WrestleMania 16. <sighs> pretty good match. I gotta say it was a pretty good match. It kind of started out slow in the beginning, then it kind of picked up at the end. Um, I actually kind of laughed at this because... Um, the Rock bumps into roughly Earl Hebner, he gets hurt, um, Tim White um, come, tries to come in and count Big Show after he did the choke slam to the block, and then Earl Hebner pulls um, Tim White out, they're arguing a little bit, um, then they're fighting because of what happened with the, the first match, which I just mentioned, Kurt Angle versus Chris Jericho in the Continental Championship, then um, Shane comes out and hits The Rock with a chair, Big Show pins him, no, the rock is the rock bottom, then he goes to the people's elbow, then Shane hits him with the hits the rock with the chair. And then um Tim White comes in and pins him. It was a good way to build up that little big mania match in WrestleMania 16, because the rock does go to WrestleMania. And then we have the main events, Triple H versus Cactus Jack, Hell in a Cell match for the World Wrestling Federation Championship. Um if Cactus Jack loses, his career is over. Um, good match. I enjoyed this match. Um, is there any flaw? No, there was no flaws in this match at all. I like it in the beginning when Cactus Jack realizes that, um, he can't go outside. this because, um, in the video package he said that he was going to jump off the cell and, um, right on Triple H, he doesn't care how, which, um, I'll explain later. Then, um, Cactus Jack, there's, like, chains around the door and, um, then, um, it kind of went into like a traditional wrestling match, which it was okay. Um, and then we finally get some good cell use. Mankind, no, not Mankind, Cactus Jack goes to put the chair in the ring. Triple H does a knee lift and right into the cell. When Cactus Jack right into that cell, it looked awesome. And then we have Triple H um, throwing the steel steps at Cactus Jack. Triple H hitting, the, the sti hitting Cactus Jack with the steel steps while we're on his head. Um, what else do we got? Um, we also have Cactus Jack doing some good spot, which is um, also good. Cactus Jack um, doing an elbow with the steel chair. Um, actually, Cactus Jack actually went to go run in the steel chair, then Triple H get the drop toe hold. Just Cactus Jack right into the chair. Good movement right there. Um, and then finally, Cactus Jack does end up breaking the cell on like one of the walls where it doesn't take a book there at SummerSlam 2008. When um, Mick, Mick, Cactus Jack goes to throw the steps right, it, but then he misses and it breaks the door. And Cactus Jack goes full charge right into it, throws Triple H into it, and then um, they fight in the ring. Pie right on the announcer's table. Cactus Jack gets two by four, grabbing Bob Wire and hits Triple H with it. Then it gets good. They go up top of the cell. Mick, Triple H um, somehow, I don't remember, I think he thumbs him in the eyes. No, he. Yeah, he thumb, thumbs him in the eyes. Cactus Jack goes crash into the table. And then there's a funny part right here. Cactus Jack tries to throw a steel chair up on the steel a cell when it's not possible because it's big and yeah. But um, then um, Triple H beats up Cactus Jack with the cell. Then they fight kind of like going to the initial match. And then they and then Cactus Jack like the two by four wrapped around with barbed wire on fire, which is a good moment right there. And then he tries to power drive them on it, then Triple H counters into a back body drop, then Cactus goes through the cell, through the wind, and then everyone goes silent. And they're like, oh no, Cactus Jack loses this match. And everyone thought that, I knew, because once I saw it before, but when I first saw it, I'm like, oh, that, I don't, that looked bad. Then Cactus Jack moves his hand, Triple H is pissed off. The place has a pedigree, one, two, three, and then he ends up winning. Cactus Jack is gone. Then, um... <sighs> Cactus Jack does the same thing that Shawn Michaels did at WrestleMania. He leaves in a sad awe. <sighs> Back to 
But then I got there when I saw the DVD and he says, I did leave for like six weeks and still competed at WrestleMania. And uh, but he said he always looks back at that as his retirement match. And he always looks back and he remembers when he said, You'll be Miss Cactus. Godspeed or something like that. I don't remember what he said after that. Um but then that did end built up the big Fatal Four Elimination match at WrestleMania between Big Show Lock, Brook McFoley, I don't know if he was Captain Jack at the time, and Triple H. So, uh, very good no way out, 2000. Did I, which one did I bet, in 1998 or 2000? I like 2000 better because one, it had good spots, and, uh, and um, I liked, and um, it had good guys in there. Um, and um, if I had to pick a match of the night, it would definitely be the Hell in a Cell match. Worst match of the night would be the Taz versus Big Boss Man match. So a good week of you. Um, now I have to go on and watch No Way Out 2001. So I hope you guys enjoy that. See you later.